On Friday, the USDA released its monthly cattle and feed report, showing the number of cattle in the nation's feed yards as of March 1st up 1% over a year ago, slightly above the average of analysts' pre-report estimates. What came as an even bigger surprise were February placements up 2% over a year ago. Analysts on average had expected placements to be down about 4%. The range of the guesses for placements was 7.8% under to 1.5% over a year ago. Finally, marketings in February were also on par with year-ago levels, up half a percent, close but slightly below expectations. For the complete rundown of the report, subscribers should click on the news link in Comtel. Next up, Jake Muldowney is here with a recap of Friday's cold storage report. The USDA's monthly cold storage report Friday showed overall meat and poultry stocks at the end of February up 5.1% from January and 1.1% above the year-ago figure. Beef, pork, and turkey stocks were up from a year ago. Pork was larger than had been expected, but analysts said some of the additional product was likely put away amid speculation of increased exports to China and should not affect the market. For more on the cold storage report, subscribers should log in to Comtel. Thanks, Jake. Now we'll take a look at Erner Berry's HRI Buyer's Guide, a weekly publication dedicated to current commodity prices being paid to wholesalers and purveyors by hotels, restaurants, and institutions. Here's Seafood News Managing Editor Amanda Buckle with the latest movers of the week. As buyers start to focus on prepping for nice weather and the upcoming grilling holiday, the very first thing they inquire about are strip loins. Prices edged up nearly 4% as a result. Next on our list, we turn to the pork market. With Easter approaching and international demand for hams heating up with bone-in and boneless hams have seen notable price increases in recent weeks. In particular, boneless hams gained over 6% last week. In the chicken market, a bolstered demand for both domestic and foreign buying channels, in conjunction with manageable frozen inventory levels, has led to rising values for fresh bone-in legs. Thanks, Amanda. That concludes our show for today. Thanks for watching, and be sure to visit Comtel for the latest market and industry news. Today's video is sponsored by Epsano's Market Insight for the Meat Industry, providing information, education, and insight for the beef, pork, and poultry industries. View a sample report at Epsano.com or call 800-932-0617 to get your free sample today.